Our next one in gear cutting gears without gear cutting equipment, which I really think should be a twist, tongue twister, is this one. It's known as the eccentric cycloid drive, and I think it was invented around about 2016, something like that, by a bunch of Russians led by Staniskovsky, I think, and maybe getting that pronunciation wrong. But this was a model produced by O.T. Vinter with permission from the patent holders, and we did a 3D print of it, and then promptly used that to create a generator. And this is a 9 to 1 gear ratio, and it is a very interesting gear. But when you look at the shape of it, machining something like that is going to be a challenge, and so I 3D printed it. But when I was thinking about the laser cutter, and I was thinking about flat panels and how we might be able to make it from other materials, including wood and flat metals, in a much easier way, it made me think that maybe this section here where it swirls actually isn't necessary. What about if we just took a slice off the top and a slice off the bottom and we made that the essence of the gear? And instead of having this sort of worm drive, we just two, had two ellipses either side of it to push those two slices around. Would that have the same effect? It would certainly be easier to make. And would we get the same benefits without the problem of machining it? And so, of course, the next thing I did was turn to Tinkercad to make a model of exactly that. The orange just spaces, the purple is the frame, the light blue are the eccentric cams, and the cream are the slices that we've just been talking about. Now, it's meant to be cut in 5mm acrylic, and the files will be in STL format, so you'll need to export them in FG, SVG if you're going to do it on a laser. But if you want to do it as a template, export it as a PNG and paste it on top of your wood. Again, there are so many ways you can make this that they are basically all the same. Once you get it into that flat panel format, you can make it however you want. Anyway, what we're going to do is obviously laser cut it, so let's cut those parts out. So once we've printed them off, there are the parts. Now in addition to these parts, what we're going to need are two bits of 8mm acrylic bar to active axles. These are the two main components, so we need to line them up. But we don't line them up like that, where they're one over the other. We line them up like that, so that they overlap, and then glue them onto one of the axles 20mm in, so that it's like that. And then we take one space each here and glue them on one side there, and the other side there, pushing them flat against here. So it's like that, with the space is tight against that gear, and then we leave them to dry. And when it's drying, we need to glue this upright onto the base plate, more or less there, so that it's at 90 degrees to the base plate. Then on the second piece of axle, feed the handle onto the end of the axle, add another spacer, and glue those in place. When everything's dry, feed this handle into the top slot, put on another spacer, then glue on one of the cams. Glue on the second cam, set at 180 degrees to the first cam, and then another spacer. When we've done that, we can put the final upright on there. And then two spacers there and there. Glue them in, but again, so they don't fix to the axle. And then we need to saw that bit off that sticks out and leave that bit sticking out. And there it is finished. Now we get a 9 to 1 gear reduction in this. So if I turn that, that will turn 9 times slower. But it is reversible, so if I turn that, that will turn 9 times faster. <laughs> Or equally. <laughs> there you go. So there we go, we were able to reproduce this in this flat panel and it makes a pretty decent gear. Now I quite like this one actually because there's no pegs at all, it's basically four components and a couple of axles, so it's really simple to be able to make something like that. And it's likely to be actually slightly better than involute gears because the pressure is spread over the whole area rather than over a tooth. And of course it's quite forgiving about tolerances, which is an important thing when it comes to making stuff at home. Anyway. I hope this gives you ideas, I hope you enjoyed the video, thank you very much for watching, and please do remember to like and subscribe.